question one then from the first paper of the 2014 National 5 exam. Carry out this multiplication involving mixed numbers. Two marks. Answer in simplest form. No calculator. Well, there's a couple of ways you can actually go about this because actually only one of them is a mixed number. If it had been a mixed number like this times a mixed number, then they'd only be the one root. Change them both to single top-heavy fractions and then multiply the tops, the numerators, and multiply the bottoms, the denominators. Because the other root would just be too lengthy. Because after all, what that means is 3 plus 5 twelfths times 2 plus 2 ninths. A bracket times a bracket, and there's your four multiplications. Three times two, three times two ninths. Two times five twelfths, and five twelfths times two ninths, and get your four answers and add them all together. That'd be far too lengthy. So, let's just multiply them as single fractions. First, as if they were both mixed numbers. Well, that's just five twelfths, and that would break into how many ninths are all together. Each whole number can break into nine ninths. So you've got 2 times 9, there's 18 bits hiding in here, plus the 2. So there's 20 bits altogether. And now there's still two roots. You could either just carry out the multiplication, as in multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. But I'll do that first. 5 twenties are 100. 9 twelves are 108. And then cancel. Ideally getting the biggest number that would divide into both parts. But if you can't, you can always whittle it down divide by 2, and then if it still goes, divide by 2 or divide by 3. Well, these numbers both divide by 4. 4 into 100 goes 25, and 4 into 108 goes 20, and 2 over 28 is 27. And then they don't cancel any further, so that's it done. And if you did it that way, that would have been your first mark, and that would have been your second mark. Now, more often than not, you have to show your working, it says that at the front. But every so often there's a question where they'll let you get the answer. Sometimes it's quite appropriate, sometimes it's a little bit you're not too sure whether you should do it or not, and if that's the case, show all the working. And in this case here, if you'd gone straight in with that, because somehow you saw it within there, putting that in its own would get you the two marks here. That's not a safe route though. You're better off putting down the working. However, there was another way you could have got from here to here, without this intermediate step. And that would have been, instead of multiplying first, and then cancelling it down, dividing it out, why not cancel it out first, when the divisions are much more obvious, when the numbers are smaller? Any top number dividing by any bottom number? Well, the 5 and the 9 can't cancel, but the 12 and the 20 do. They're both in the 4 times table, they're both divide by 4. So why not divide that 4 out first of all? 4 into 12 goes 3, 4 into 20 goes 5, because there's no point multiplying by 4 just to divide by 4 afterwards. So cancel first, keeps everything small. Now multiply 5 fives, 25, 3 nines, 27, and there you go. Now you could have taken that longer route of actually carrying out the multiplication by the mixed number, because after all, what that means is you've got two of them and two ninths of them. You could have said, well, I'll have two times five twelfths, and I'll have two ninths of five twelfths. Whoops, not very neat. Again, these are both multiplications. If you like, you can think of that as having denominator one, if you like to have all nicely balanced to see something above and below. So you could just go ahead and multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, and then tidy it up. But you're always better cancelling first. Sometimes you have to think, oh, if I'm adding them, I'd rather they had the same denominator, but I can't see a way of preserving the denominators here. So I think I'll just cancel it down. I've got the same parts here anyway. So you've got 2 into 2 goes 1s, 2 into 12 goes 6, 2 into 12 goes 1s, 2 into 12 goes 6. So what that says is you've got 5 sixths plus, and that's going to be 5 over 54. You can see already this is a much longer route. That's why you always go for, unless it's really easy. It's just these fractions are a bit nasty. You always go for, get them into single fractions, and then just multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms, and preferably cancel first rather than after. I'm already getting fed up doing this one, because I have to change them both into 54 now. At least I don't need to write that out twice. Because once they're both out of 54, then the answer will just be so many over 54. 
So that stays as 5. 6 into that obviously goes 9. 9 fives are 45, so you've got 50 over 54. But I'm not finished yet. They both divide by 2. 25 over 27. An awful lot more work than just doing that. So that should be the way you do it.